The cocktail shaker is the center of any barware set. It's definitely an iconic shape and part of American cocktail culture. We thought long and hard about the style that we wanted to do for the Craft House by Fortessa line, and we went with my favorite style, which is known as the Boston Shaker or the Two-Piece Shaker. This is really the choice of professionals all around the world today. The next step after you have your cocktail built and iced in the tin is to combine the two pieces. You don't need to bang these two together. They're designed to go to, with one another, and they're gonna form a really nice seal. Just give it a nice press or a twist. You can tap it if you want a little extra assurance, but as soon as you give it an extra shake, you're gonna form what's called the magic seal. This is the beauty of the Boston shaker. Everything holds together. Let's look at how to hold this shaker so it doesn't go flying across the room and so that we've got a comfortable grip on it. I really like to put two fingers underneath the bottom and wrap it around, and I like to keep one thumb over the top of the shaker. That way when I'm shaking, just in case the seal does open up, everything is still held together and I can keep it without dripping. The last step is one that I get a lot of questions on and that's opening up your shaker. There's really three little tips or tricks that you can use to get this guy open once you've made your cocktail. Hold it firmly in one hand and give it a little bit of a tap to release the top shaker. It should come right out. Two, you can squeeze the big shaker, the large end of it, and that should just create a little bit of an air pocket to pull it out. Or on a third end, you can go ahead and just give it a little bit of a twist and that might release it as well. Whatever your technique is, I'm in the habit of giving a little bit of a pop. Again, no rules. As long as you can get to that cocktail inside the shaker, you're good to go.